cardiovascular diseases remain the largest cause of death worldwide. Over the last two decades, cardiovascular mortality rates have declined in many high-income countries at the same time cardiovascular deaths and disease have increased at an astonishingly fast rate in low- and middle-income countries. The most common cause of heart disease is narrowing or blockage of the coronary arteries, the blood vessels that supply blood to the heart itself. This is called coronary artery disease and happens slowly over time. It's the major reason people have heart attacks. Causes of heart attack If the blood supply to the heart muscle is cut off, a heart attack can result. Cells in the heart muscle do not receive enough oxygen and begin to die the more time that passes without treatment to restore blood flow, the greater the damage to the heart having high blood pressure or high blood cholesterol, smoking, increased age, lack of a physical activity, unhealthy diet, and having had a previous heart attack or family history of stroke, obesity, or diabetes can increase a person's chances of having a heart attack according to the American Heart Association, about 785,000 Americans have an initial heart attack and another 470,000 have a recurrent heart attack each year by 2030. About 116 million people in the U.S. will have some form of cardiovascular disease. Between 2010 and 2030 the cost of medical care for heart disease will rise from $273 billion to $818 billion and $276 billion in lost productivity. The most common symptom of coronary artery disease is angina, or chest pain angina can be described as a discomfort, heaviness, pressure, aching burning, fullness, squeezing, or painful feeling in your chest it can be mistaken for indigestion or heartburn angina is usually felt in the chest, but may also be felt in the shoulders, arms, neck, throat, jaw, or back. Heart disease statistics 1 in 3 adults, or an estimated 82,600,000, have one or more types of cardiovascular disease. Of these, 40,400,000 are estimated to be older than 60 years. High blood pressure 76 million people have systolic pressure equal to or greater than 140 millimeters mercury and diastolic pressure of 90 millimeters of mercury. Coronary heart disease 7,900,000 persons have the heart's blood supply blocked or interrupted by a buildup of fatty substances in the coronary arteries. Heart attack or myocardial infarction 7,900,000 suffer the interruption of blood supply to a part of the heart causing heart cells to die as plaque blocks the artery. This condition can result in death. Chest pain 9 million people have chest pain, or angina pectoris, caused by heart muscle not getting enough blood. Heart failure 5,700,000 congestive heart failure which resulting from structural or functional cardiac disorder impairing the heart's ability to pump blood. Stroke 7 million cases of loss of brain function due to disturbance in the blood supply to the brain. It can be due to lack of blood flow caused by blockage or from hemorrhage. Congenital cardiovascular defects Between 650,000 to 1,300,000 persons have a defect in the structure of the heart and great vessels which is present at birth. Genetic therapies The expression of genes can be upregulated or downregulated by agonists or antagonists called ligands. Vascular endothelial growth factor promotes growth or angiogenesis, of blood vessels angiogenesis of blood vessels improves heart function and eases pain vascular endothelial growth factor gene transfer was performed on patients suffering angina by injecting naked plasma DNA encoding the growth factor into the heart. The gene transfer treatment of ischemic heart disease was minimally invasive, reduced symptoms and improved the passage of blood through the heart. Sarkar 2 gene therapy is in stage 2 clinical trial. The gene therapy delivered a gene associated with an enzyme that is central to controlling the flow of calcium ions in cells regulating myocardial contraction and expansion of the heart muscles deficiency of the enzyme, called sarcoplasmic reticulum CAR2 plus ATPase, circa 2 -er, often occurs in advanced heart failure and is considered a mechanism of progressive systolic and diastolic dysfunction. The circa 2 -er gene is administered using an adeno-associated viral vector in a single dose. Substituting a healthy gene for the defective partially restored the heart's ability to pump in patients. Beta arrest in one gene therapy was used to block the gene encoded protein beta arrest in one. 
blocking the protein prevents heart failure and caused an increase of aldosterone production from the body's adrenal glands into the blood. S100A1 gene gene therapy reversed the underlying cause of heart failure, progressive deterioration of contractile performance, electrical instability and energy deprivation A modified adeno-associated virus of containing the S100A1 gene was delivered to the heart's coronary arteries with the help of a heart-specific gene promoter. The therapy changed the geometry of the heart. Eplerinone, the aldosterone antagonist eplerinone significantly reduced the development of new onset atrial fibrillation and flutter in patients with heart failure. Autologous cellular therapy, CD34 patients natural production of stem cells enhanced through series of injections of growth factors and injected directly into heart muscles. The phase E double-blind placebo-controlled trial regenerated heart and vascular tissue microRNA-765 can downregulate the expression and reduce contractility of heart cells by decreasing or deactivating a number of proteins that help the heart function at full capacity nanopatch scaffold increased heart muscle density the cardiac heartbeat cycle is coordinated by a series of electrical impulses produced by specialized heart cells this electrical system is the power source that allows the atria and ventricles to work together. Alternately contracting and relaxing, pumping blood through the heart after a heart attack the specialized heart cells are lost forever. A nanopatch scaffold of carbon nanofibers and polymer regenerated natural heart tissues and neurons, enabling dead regions to come back to life.